hello beautiful people how are you all doing in today's tutorial i'll be showing us how i caught and sew this beautiful gathered dress with queen annie neckline i made this beautiful dress with a two and a half years of meccano fabrics by sister this video contains both the sewing and the cutting part of this dress apart from the sleeve because i already have the cutting and the sewing part of the sleeve in my previous in my last video so guys in case you are coming across my channel for the first time make sure you like share and subscribe to this channel and watch this video to the end so that you don't miss any parts thank you so guys let's go ahead and do the net for this is my lining i'm cutting with i like cutting with lining because i don't want stain on the main fabrics so i folded my lining once and i'm cutting the upper part of my dress first so the first line that i'm ruling now is my chest line the second line is my boss point the third line is my under boss and the fourth line is my half length line so i'll go ahead and take my shoulder measurement my shoulder is 16 inches divided by two and that gave me eight inches i measured around my shoulder then my chest line to get the same eight inches the next thing i will do is to take my nipple to nipple measurement my nipple to nipple is eight inches if you divide that by two it will give me four inches so i added half an inch for sewing allowance then i rule a line so the next thing I will do is to take my armhole measurement. I divided my armhole into two and that gave me four inches. So from there I will come down by one inch and go up by one inch. And this will serve as my armhole dart. So from my waist I took one and a half inches outside and one inch inside for my dart i will do the same thing around my under boss one inch outside and one and a half inches outside and one inch in so from my boss point i will come down by one inch then i will go up by half an inch from my armhole that because I'm going I took away two inches so I'm going to add it to the side to my side front so that when I'm sewing it it won't be shorter than the center front so I will now connect it can you see that then connect the other that so this is it so i will take my neck measurement after joining it you know this is queen and the neckline so after i must have joined it that's when i will now add my neckline that's when i will cut my neckline So this is what it looked like after cutting so i will join the side front to the center front this is my lining i will now use it to cut the main fabrics so i will now go ahead and cut the back part of my dress i'm taking eight inches for my chest line and 16 and a half inches for my half length So I'll connect the lines. It's just two lines, half length and chest line. Right there is my one inch for zip allowance. So my nipple to nipple is four and a half inches. So I inputted it already. So I will connect the line. That's my nipple to nipple line which is four inches plus half an inch for sewing allowance. 
so from my chest line from my chest line I measured 8 inches and this 8 inches I will do I will take the same 8 inches on my shoulder line because that's actually my shoulder measurement 16 divided by 2 so I will now take my back that measurement which is half inches for the both side so I will connect it to my chest line So that's it so I'll divide my armhole into two armhole line into two then I will now connect it that's my side back so I will still add one inch for sewing allowance I will add the one inch to my side back part to the side back so that it won't be shorter when I'm cutting. Though I didn't take any measure, I didn't take any dart, but always do it at times to be shorter. So this is for my down part. My round waist is 33 inches. So I will take 50 inches width for the front part and 50 inches width again for the 52 inches because of my 51 inches sorry for my zip allowance so the length of my the, the, the length of the down part is about 33 inches so this one now is for the front i will gather it as you see in the video you know it's a gather it's a gather dress as well, I have to use 100. So, this is the down part. I added one inch for sewing. This is the back part. Sorry, added one inch for sewing allowance. So, the total I use is 100 inches 50 for front and 50 for the back part. So, this is the front part of my dress. The upper part, this is the front. I've I added haste and wedding to it. Please, if you're making a dress with this kind of material, please don't bother adding haste. It doesn't, it's rumpled. It will be very difficult for beginners. See, it doesn't come out very clean. So just go ahead and the material is thick. Just go ahead and use lining. It's better. Just go ahead and cut your princess that then use lining so i've added haste to both the lining and you can add it to the lining if need be if it's necessary that you have to add breast cup breast pad then add it to the lining so i've joined it i've joined the side to the center front this is the front part of the dress can you see my wording so I'll go ahead and iron I'll iron it open make sure you iron very well iron your dress very well after ironing i will make a notch from the part i joined i will make a notch so that it will be free i'll cut it open so that's the way i iron can you see that can you see how it's looking can you see i've ironed one part can you see the side of irons then i'll go ahead and iron the second part you iron the line in two please take notes always iron your dress can you see it see how it's looking after ironing you see that this is the front part so I'll go ahead and iron the lining you see I'm cutting it that's the notch I'll notch it from the beginning to the end so this is the down part of my dress I made I I made my gather with a loose stitch 
I have to gather it. You pick one of the thread and gather. This is the back part. Just pick one of the thread and gather it slowly so that it doesn't cut. So you gather it to your measurement, to the measurement you want. So this is it. So after gathering, I will now tie it. I tied it, then I will now still go to my machine and sew on top of it so that it will not lose. So the next thing I will do is to take my final trimming. I'm doing, I'm filming this trimming because this trimming because I want you to see the way I'm going to cut my Queen Annie's neckline. So from my shoulder, I came down by six and a half inches. Then I took two and a half inches for my width, for my neck width. So from there, I came down by four and a half inches again from my shoulder, four and a half inches. Can you see that? So I will now go in again by four and a half inches. Sorry, this thing is white. It's not really showing very well. That's four and a half inches in. So I will now connect it from the four and a half inches to my neck depth which is six and a half inches that's where i made the sweet heart curve so i'll now connect it to the shoulder from the four and a half inches i connected it to two and a half inches so my shoulder width my neck width which is two and a half inches so look this that is it right there so i'll take my shoulder measurements eight inches then i'll now take my chest line eight inches again so from there i will take my bust measurement which is nine and a half 38 inches divided by four which is nine and a half So I added one and a half inches for my sewing allowance. Nine and a half plus one and a half inches, that is 11. So I came down by four inches, which is my half arm hole, my mid arm hole. Then I took 0 0.75 inch, 0 0.75 inch in around my front arm hole. This, don't forget, you can only do, do this only on the front arm hole. So I didn't take those measurements when I was cutting because I, will, I, I, I decided to do it when I'm trimming, when I'm doing my final trimming. It's better that way. That's how I normally sew my dresses. So I took my, I measured my half length, my round half length, which is 33 inches. I divided it by four. So I came down by 0 0.75 inch for my shoulder loop. I decided to do all the all this part of measurements now when I'm trimming. When I'm doing my final trimming. So I'll cut out the Queen Anne's neckline. So it, you will see what it look like. Don't forget I came down by 6 inches from my shoulder six and a half inches sorry then from my shoulder again i came down by four and a half inches then i went from that four inches i went in by four and a half inches again so that's why i created my queen annie's neckline and i used two and a half inches for my shoulder 
for my neck width. Can you see? Can you see that? It's so beautiful. Can you see what it look like? So I will use the front to cut the lining. So this is it. So this is the lining. I will place the main fabrics on top. Then I will trace it. So this is it. So I'll now trim out the side parts and the armhole parts. When you just cut the main fabrics, use it and cut the lining because it's the same thing. Because you're going to any dress you're turning. You are turning whenever you are making a dress that you are turning with the lining. So make sure that the same measurements you use for your main fabric, that's the same measurement you use for your lining. Can you see that? So right there is both my main fabrics and my lining. So after trimming it, after trimming, I will I will show you the way you turn it. You now place the lining on top of the main fabrics, then you stitch it. You stitch all the front parts. Can you see it? After stitching, you notch before you will now top stitch. Top stitch on the lining. So you can turn it from any side that you think will be more easier for you. Just be careful while turning it. And don't stretch the one on top so that you won't miss out any parts. You know, it's trimmed the same way so be careful while turning it just be watching it so this is the back part of my lining the back part of my dress but this is still the lining so i will trim it after taking on my measurement i will trim it I'll trim it to my size then I'll add one and half inch inches for sewing allowance so I'm checking my armhole whether that is enough then I will still match it with the front part the armhole area can you see it so it's, it's the same thing can you see it So this is it so the armhole is this is the same thing so I'll make sure that the side part is still the same length so I'll now trim out the excess so I'll use it to cut the front part the the main fabrics I will use the lining to cut the main fabrics After trimming, the, the next thing I will do is to turn it. I will turn the neck of the back part. Turn it with the lining. So I've torn it. Can you see? I've stitched the front part. So I'll make a notch. If you don't notch it, you see all this part. If you don't notch it, it will not, it will not come out too well. In fact, you won't be able to turn itself. So always, always make sure that you notch. After notching, you now top stitch. Top stitch on the lining. So go ahead and turn it. 
this is the front part notch it very close but make sure you don't cut out the thread so I'll now turn it then the next thing is to top stitch I'm top stitching on the lining make sure that the sewing the sewing you will attach it with the lining the sewing that small 0.5 inches sewing take it to the lining side before you top stitch why top stitching so i've done the top stitching so i'll go ahead and iron iron it well iron your dress well and be very careful while ironing and don't forget that anytime you're ironing the front part of your dress to avoid stain always place a material on top make sure it's a material that doesn't wash especially white material there you see that's my queen and the neck line popping there you see how beautiful it is can you see that wow so that's what it look like so this is the front part i will iron the back part always make sure that you sew well because if you don't sew well it's a it's a it's a different thing to know how to cut and it's a different thing to know how to sew if you don't do your sewing well your cutting will be just in vain whether you cut it well or not if you don't sew it well so this is it so I'll join this upper part to the down part Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel. I've, you know, I've already posted the sleeve of this dress. I posted it about two days ago, so you can still check my channel for the sleeve part in case you you come across the the dress the dress video before the sleeve, so you can check it out can check out for the cutting and sewing of the sleeve it's very simple so I've torn the back neckline so I'll iron it and after ironing I will join the two parts that is the zip allowance area I'll join it together So you know after turning the lining will now be longer so you have to trim it out you have to trim out whatever that does that does not align so this is it i will join it together and sew i will sew it with a loose stitch then iron it then i will lose it back again to attach the sleeve to fix the zip This is it. that's the zip allowance right there. So this is how you turn the neck, the the shoulder. Sorry, this is how you turn the shoulder. You pick the lining from under. You place the front part on top, then pick the back part lining. Then use it and cover the rest both the the front can you see can you see the dress i've joined everything i fix the zip can you see it I've joined it to the down part i first of all join it before i now sew in the lining 
after joining the fabrics to the down parts i now sew in the lining let me turn the front the inner in, inside so that you see it can you see so you don't see the sewing because i first of all join it before attaching the lining to it so the line is now on top of it can you see how neat the inside is guys please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel please hit the subscribe button and put on the notification bell so that you'll be notified each time i upload a new video please subscribe to my channel subscribe to my channel please thank you and thank you i really appreciate you guys god bless you love you thanks and see you in our next video bye for now